Welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we're doing a vlog style video which means I'm going to be sharing my morning routine, my workout, what I'm eating. So the first things first, 5 a.m. we head straight to the cold shower and we turn it all the way cold that it can go. Now granted I live in Florida so the water only gets so cold compared to when I was in Ohio so it's probably about 60 or 70 degrees now but I used, used to take probably 50 degree showers. So not as effective, but what does a cold shower do? Well, first of all, it wakes up your cells. It can lower your heart rate, depending on how cold the water is, and it can actually help with your immune system. So the cold has a ton of benefits. And like I said, it just provides a ton of energy and you get up and you're, you're awake. You're awake and you're ready to go and you're ready to get into it. So this is step one of the routine in the morning, which is key to my success and detailing. Right after the cold shower, we brush our teeth and I put in my contacts. Now, nothing special here other than I don't use toothpaste. I don't eat refined carbs, so it's not necessary for toothpaste. Also, fluoride in excess is actually toxic to the body. So that is another reason I don't use toothpaste. Directly following this, we're gonna head straight back to bed and we're gonna be doing Wim Hof breathing exercises. So this is a video you can look up on YouTube by Wim Hof and he's gonna take you through this tutorial of three rounds of breath work. So what you're gonna be doing is breathing all the way in and then breathing all the way out through your mouth. So. Now I believe it's about 50 breaths per round and in between rounds you will be holding your breath for a minute and a half so this might sound a little scary at first and you might become lightheaded but as you do this over time what you're doing is you're flooding your system with oxygen so your cells your muscles are being overflowed with oxygen so your mind is super clear so if you need clarity in the morning if you need to write if you need to work out you're going to be energized and ready to go with a super calm and focused mind other benefits of this method are decreasing inflammation in the body because disease cannot exist with oxygen and the problem nowadays is people are shallow breathing so this really helps with that and combine this with the cold shower this is an incredible routine in the morning and it only takes about 20 minutes of your time so it's super reasonable and it's super effective these two things alone can change your life which is why they are essential to my morning routine after that i put on my clothes and i get ready to go to the gym it is about 6 a.m we're gonna take a drink of water and then we're gonna head to the gym let's go Looks like I'm the only one in the gym. So we're gonna do chest today. We're gonna do shoulders, biceps, and abs. Now, I hurt my back a couple days ago. So normally today, it's Monday, I would be sprinting. But instead, we're gonna go with the gym session. Gonna give my back a few day rest. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So why do I do bench press? Well, it's really just the foundation to your upper body. You're gonna work your chest, you're gonna work your triceps, your biceps. Um, it's great for staying in shape and looking fit, and it's just great for, you know, helping me be a better detailer. So bench press, you know, you're gonna stick to the staples in terms of bench press, squat, deadlift, and then everything else comes secondary. So that's my philosophy. So bench is finished. Let's go ahead and move to side lateral raises to work our side delts. For side lateral raises, I'm doing a three by 10 and I usually go a little heavier on this exercise to really try to grow my side delts. So we have 30s and we're gonna rub out 10 of these. up is a 3 by 10 on bicep curls so another muscle that will help you with detailing 
You're gonna be using your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, your chest, your abs, you're using all your muscles in detailing. So let's finish this up and then we're gonna to go to our abs. To finish up the workout we're gonna train our lower abs and this exercise is really just a great test to see how strong your abs actually are so we're really focusing on our lower abs here with these leg raises and definitely something you'll be using during detailing following up the workout I do believe in stretching so I have a pretty comprehensive stretching routine to make sure that all my muscles are relaxed and then I'm not gonna be pulling anything or leaving anything tight when I leave the gym. So we're gonna first, we're gonna spread our legs and we're gonna reach down to the bottom and then you guys can just follow along the rest of the routine and it's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory, but really stretching out our back, our abs, our legs, everything that we can to make sure that we're not leaving the gym all tight and we want to make sure that we're taking good care of our body. So this is definitely part of that routine. guys just finished up the workout now I don't do anything crazy right like I'm not in there lifting for two hours my workout literally takes a half an hour to 45 minutes I get in I do one hard exercise per muscle group that I'm training and then I get out um, sometimes I'll do cardio sometimes I won't it just depends today we're gonna be doing a lot of walking so no cardio today in the gym uh, but yeah we're gonna go back to the apartment and we're gonna cook up breakfast so I'll see you in the apartment. What are we having for breakfast? So today we have grass-fed ribeye. We're gonna cook that in grass-fed butter. Uh, we have pineapple is gonna be our fruit. We're gonna do half an avocado. We're gonna do a little bit of honey on top of our ribeye. And then we have grass-fed um, raw cheddar cheese. So it's really important if you're gonna do cheese in your diet, make sure it's raw and unpasteurized otherwise it's going to strip out a lot of the nutrients in the pasteurization process so this is what we're having today let's get cooking <music> grass-fed ribeye, avocado, cheese, and pineapple. And then I usually like to just take a little bit of honey and I just like to pour it on top. Just adds a little extra flavor. And it's a great source of health benefits. Um, honey has a ton of vitamins loaded in antioxidants. When I'm finished, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about what we're doing today. It's about 8.30 a.m. and we are headed to the post office. So we have 2,000 flyers here, which cost about 200 bucks to get made. 
and then we are going to be shipping them out which is about 400 bucks so about a 600 dollar total and basically it is eddm which is every door direct mail so you print these labels for stacks of 100 and the post office will ship these out in the mail so it's very convenient you don't have to walk house to house and you can get into neighborhoods that are gated and private communities and apartment complexes so i love this strategy now obviously you have to have some capital to do this but later today we're also going to be doing house to house business cards so i'm super excited to share that experience as well so i'm on my own again so we're restarting for the third time so let's go so first task of the day checked off um flyers are at the post office next up is we're gonna go do business cards house to house so we're gonna go ahead and wait till about 10 or 11 because I don't want to wake anybody up and then we'll get started so I decided to wait a little longer it is actually 4 30 and I wanted to wait till people get off work and they're back in their home so we're gonna go out between probably 4 4 30 to 6 30 4 30 to 7 and then we'll probably call it quits don't want to bother people too late at night but Guys, we're, we're going out and we're talking to people, we're gonna have conversations. We're not hard selling people. I'm gonna go up, knock on their door, you know, make a compliment. Hey, you got a boat behind your house, right? Um, say, you know, we got a couple spots left on our detailing, on our washing program this summer and kind of get into it that way. So gonna be super fun. So let's get started. <music> I'm just walking door to door and I'm knocking on all the houses where it looks like people are home because this time of year it's June so a lot of people are actually not home because in Cape Coral this is a pretty heavy snowbird market so a lot of people travel back up north for the summer so we're just knocking on houses and like I said we're doing an easy approach we're not hard selling we're just offering our services and hopefully we're gonna get a go ahead and check out some boats and do some quoting so this is what it's all about, putting yourself out there. There's not a whole lot of competition because a lot of people aren't willing to go house to house. So here's some ground footage and yeah, pretty cool. As you can see, not too many people home, but we did not count a lot of doors. Just finished up. We went for about two and a half hours. It's about 7.30. Um, we gave out a lot of business cards. We talked to a lot of people. Quite a few people though weren't home. Um, it is June here in Cape Coral, so it's a little more dead than normal. But we had, I had one amazing opportunity to close on a client and I didn't and I'm a little upset. Um, this is what happens sometimes when you're, when you're new to door to door and you just don't have a ton of experiences. You come into the right clients and then you don't close properly. And then I realized it right after and I should have had it. It was a perfect situation. Brand new boat. He started talking to us about ceramic coatings and I just simply didn't I didn't ask the right questions I didn't explain enough to him about it and he probably would have at least been willing to go look at the boat with him and I could have got him a price then and there and we could have possibly moved forward but I didn't so a learning lesson but that's it guys so we went ahead and did some door to door did our flyers through the mail today and had a pretty good day so we're gonna get back to it tomorrow and we're going to keep continuing because we're restarting for the third time. So back at it. So guys, um, I will see you back in the apartment. All right. And that's going to do it for this video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did leave a like, drop a comment, be sure to share this video to other people. And guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button now and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.